What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we're connecting a mic to our Android smartphone and I'm using the Pixel 4 XL. Now this has several case uses. For example, if you're working at home and doing video conferencing or maybe you're a creator and you're creating projects and you just want better audio. Now this portion of the video was actually created without the mic since we haven't actually set this up yet. Now personally, I'm very excited to finally be using a mic on the channel. This has been an ongoing recommendation. I can't tell you how many times I've been nagged on by the viewers to get a mic. Dude, get a mic. We can't hear you. There's an echo. It's not loud enough. So this is going to be a long needed addition to the channel. So not only are we going to show you how to connect a mic to your Android smartphone, but we're also going to do some demonstrations so you can see the changes in performance. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now this unboxing is pretty simple, so I went ahead and laid out all the items. What we have here is the mic, we have the cable to connect the mic to our Android smartphone, and we have instructions. Now, the interesting thing going on here is that it doesn't say anything about connecting this whole setup to an Android phone or an iPhone or a tablet. It just says that this is good for Windows and Mac OS. But obviously we're making this video and I could tell you that this whole setup works with Android. Now I imagine it's going to work with iPhone as well, but I don't have an adapter to try it out with the iPhone that I have. So here we have the microphone, which can be unfolded and placed in an upright position. Now, although the majority of the microphone is made out of plastic materials, it actually has a good weight to it. And it actually looks pretty nice. It has a dated look. On the rear of the microphone head is a USB-B port for power supply and data transfer. Now on this microphone, the microphone head actually pivots so that you can get a better listening angle and there is an LED status indicator light on the top. Now connecting the microphone to your Android smartphone is pretty easy. We have the one end of the cable that's going to plug into the microphone head. Next, we're going to take the other end of the cable and plug it into our Android smartphone. Now, as you can see here, this is going to be a USB-A connector. So we're gonna need an adapter for it. So I have a USB-A to USB-C connector. We're gonna plug that right onto the top there. And now this cable will plug into our Android smartphone. Once you have the mic connected to your Android smartphone, the setup is simply plug and play. You don't have to download any additional apps or software, and you'll have the status light on the top of the microphone turn red. That's indicating that it's successfully connected. So now that we have everything connected here, we just have to connect the mic to our Android camera. And anytime I've plugged in the mic, we get this little pop-up notification that says swipe down for external mic. So we're gonna do just that. And then we're gonna see external mic right now, it's off. So we want this selection to be blue. So we'll tap that. And now the external mic is ready to go. Okay, so this is what we sound like once we have the mic installed. Now I feel confident in saying that this probably isn't the best mic and I'm also going to have to experiment with its placement to get the best audio performance. Now this mic features twin condenser mic capsules, which means that it can hear you from the front. But if we turn it around here, it should also be able to hear us from behind. So now that we have the mic turned around, this is what we sound like. Now I want to play with this a little bit. I'm going to move it a little bit further away from me and see how we sound as well. So I actually went ahead and placed the microphone right next to the smartphone camera. So we're seeing how changing the position of that microphone is going to change the sound performance. Now I just disabled the mic as well. So now we're back to using the mic on the Pixel 4 XL. And again, this is all for comparison. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enable the mic again. And I think I'm gonna to try to place it right underneath the table here and see how that affects the sound performance. Okay, so I went ahead and placed the mic right underneath the table here. And this is what I sound like now with it in that position. Now, of course, I'm not too sure how this sounds in all these different positions. So I'm gonna take it and I think I'm just gonna put it right next to the smartphone camera to play it safe. Hopefully this video is going to sound good, but as I make these videos, I'm going to change things and I'm definitely going to be getting a better microphone eventually. This is just a starter, this is just a demonstrate. So final thoughts. Now I will say using a mic, even one like this lower end unit here does improve the volume of my voice. Now of course I haven't experimented with any other microphones, but I'm thinking that if I get something a little higher end, 
I'm going to sound better. So I truly believe this is a situation where you get what you pay for. Now there is a con to using any mic like this that plugs into your smartphone, and that is you can't charge your smartphone with a cable if you have a microphone like this plugged in with a cable as well. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your phone is fully charged before you use a microphone like this one. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see likes and subscribers, they're gonna think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.